what's up what's good this is queen of wands 1111 back to do your love reading so we're gonna do a roll of dice and see who's gonna be up next so let's cross our fingers okay who's up next who's up next uh capricorn <laughs> okay capricorn is up next what's good what's good capricorn how y'all doing yes 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 so let's get into y'all love read for today 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 for the person on you guys is mine oh somebody's hard to get through somebody is hard to get through because these cards lord have mercy so yes we're gonna get into this read and see what's going on between you and the person on you guys is mine take whatever resonates with you leave the rest i'm also gonna be getting into some energies of what this person is not telling you or what they could possibly be hiding from you okay so this person is hesitant to come towards you they move it real slow they 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 moving very very slow at a snail space but i feel like this person is coming to terms with wanting to settle down with you wanting something more serious stable more solid with you okay i do feel like a lot of you have recovered from things that happened between you and this person in the past here past hurt past pain trauma all that a breakup or a separation or a divorce i feel like you guys are overcoming some obstacles here okay yeah and i'm seeing that this person, they really do want to be in a connection with you with the Two of Cups, okay? They love you. They want to partner up with you. They want um, to be in a relationship with you. This person has a soul tied to you, and I feel like they're going to go ahead and shoot their shot, okay? They're going to go ahead and take that leap of faith towards you, okay? I know this person may feel like this is a little bit risky, but they're going to go ahead and do it. Okay, let's see. You could be connected to an Aries, Aquarius. Okay, yeah. This person has a lot of love and a lot of emotions for you. But I feel like with this King of Cups, this person doesn't express their emotions like you want them to. They may have trouble opening up. They may have trouble with intimacy. Or this person just does not wear their heart on their sleeve like you want them to. Okay, but I do feel like this person is emotionally stable. They are emotionally balanced. And they are emotionally available for you. Yeah, and this person wants to give you an equal give and take. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, or fellow Capricorn. They want to give you money. They want to uh, give you... They want to have equal reciprocity. They want the relationship to be reciprocated. They want balance between the two of you. Okay, I feel like, yeah, this person wants to support you. Okay, they want to come out of conflict with you. If you guys have been having arguments, fussing, fighting, going through shit, okay. And if you don't like how I curse, I do curse. So if you don't like that, Sister Johnson, trustee of the Baptist Church, you can get the fuck out of here because this read is not for you. But my A1, my day one, my subscribers and my newbies that do not care about my profanity, Good for you. Okay, good for you. So this person, they want to come out of conflict with you. They don't want to fight with you anymore. They don't want to fuss with you anymore, Capricorn. No, they don't want to argue with you. Okay, they just want to have peace with you. They don't want no smoke. Okay, they know who or not to fuck with. And they don't want no smoke with you, Capricorn, because they love you. Okay, they do love you. And they want to come towards you, Knight of Cups, with a romantic gesture. Or a gift, okay? They want to apologize for any conflict or anything that they have put you through. They want to apologize for that, okay? And I feel like they're coming through with a love offer, a sincere offer of love. This is very sincere. This is an apology that's sincere or romantic gift that they are coming towards you with that is sincere. I feel like this person is going to woo you and tell you all the right things that you want to hear. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody that is coming. They're coming towards you. They want forgiveness. They want a second chance. This is somebody from your past that you could possibly be married to or you could just be dating this person. Or you may have dated this person in the past. But I'm seeing here that this person is coming towards you wanting forgiveness, wanting a second chance here. This is somebody that you know of. You know who this person is with the Six of Cups. You may have children with this person, but they see you as a soulmate here, okay? And they want to bring you flowers, okay? Yeah, they want to work together with you. They feel like if the, if the teamwork can make the dream work. So that's what they feel. And they feel like you make them very happy. Like uh, you are emotionally fulfillment to them. 
you know, I feel like this person does have marriage on their mind right here. They do want to marry you. They do want to come together with you and have a happy life, happy wife or happy husband, happy home family. They want to celebrate with you. Okay, that's what I see here. All right, this person does make you happy. You make them happy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Ten of Cups. Okay, what's this person's true intentions? Yeah, I feel like this person, um, they want to conversate with you. Okay, Ace of Swords. They want to come through and conversate with you or talk to you. Um, this is truthful, honest communication. I feel like if the past is being brought up again, they are apologizing for whatever happened in the past. And they want to be honest about something here. To bring you clarity, okay? I do feel like there's a breakthrough in communication coming through, um, you know, towards you. However, Eight of Swords. You may be all up in your head, feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked, okay, because of this brand new beginning and love that this person wants with you. So you may be feeling like you can't move, but you can move. You may be feeling like you're blinded to something, but I feel like you are sure of something. You know the truth about something, the truth came out, or there's just some communication here between you and this person. A bunch of cards that fell out of my hand, okay? Yeah, but you don't know if you want to stay or if you want to go, okay? Because I feel like in a recent past, this person was moving slowly to make you an offer of something stable, solid, and committed. They were moving very, very, very slow where they may have felt stuck or uh, they may have just been hesitant. But I feel like if they have had cold feet, they're recovering from that, okay? And you may be feeling stuck. Like, I don't know, but I feel like you're not sure about this brand new beginning in love with this person okay you may be feeling stuck trapped and blocked all up in your head replaying things over and over again in your mind okay because i feel like there is still some feelings there that you have for this person and still love that you have for this person and this person wants to travel to towards you they want to speak to you okay either over the airwaves or face to face this could even be through um text messages or dms facebook instagram twitter snapchat um, you may have met this person online or while traveling here. Yeah, but they want to give you nice things. They want to come through, give you a large sum of money or invite you out for dinner and a movie here. They want to have a brand new beginning with you, a brand new start with you. But they fear that you will reject them. They fear that. And this person could be in their head, you know, like, oh, what if I reach out to Capricorn with this new offer and they don't want it? You know, what if... You know, what if I take shoot my shot and, and show Capricorn I've changed and, 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 and they feel bored with my offer? You know, this person, they just feel like you'll be dishappy, unhappy and dissatisfied here, okay? Let's see. Could be connected to a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Gemini, Libra, an Aquarius here. Yeah, wow. They're very sad. They're very hurt. If you reject their offer, they're going to be crying. They're going to be sad and crying if you reject their offer. What is going to happen? Spirit is telling you, listen to your intuition. With the high priestess, listen to your intuition about this person, about whatever your intuition is telling you. That's what you go with. I feel like your person's initials, initials may begin or end with B or J. Okay, so it could be Brian or Jasmine or one of the, I don't know. But I feel like you're showing up as the high priestess. So they're sad and crying. They feel like you are hiding some secrets or this person was keeping some secrets from you. But I feel like you know something. You know what's up. You know what's going on. You are already aware of who this person is and what's going on here with the high priestess, cancer energy. Okay, so... Three of Cups, yeah, so listen to your intuition before you reconcile with this person, Spirit is saying. But I feel like this person does want to reconcile with you. Secretly, I feel like you do want to reconcile with this person, but you're just taking some time out to listen to your intuition. And, you know, get the feeling of how you feel about this person when they come back around here. I feel like... Yeah, this person, they want to reconcile, come back together with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to be happy. Okay, they want to be happy with you. I feel like you may feel like this person just wants to date very casually and they don't want anything serious. But they do with the Knight of Pentacles. They do. They want something more serious than you think. 
Yeah, they want to put in the work. They want to invest in this connection. Seven of Pentacles. They don't want to give this up. They want to reap the fruits of their labor. Okay, with you. They want to invest in you. I feel like uh, this person is also waiting for growth as far as manifesting financial opportunities or reverse it. This could be you shooting your shot towards your person. But I feel like there's some ideas that this person is getting ready to come up with because they want things to grow between the two of you. Okay, but they feel as though um, maybe you feel like things won't come up off the ground. You know, it won't go anywhere. And maybe you'll be frustrated and it'll just be slow. But I feel like... During the summer months, a lot of things are going to be revealed here. Okay, I feel like you're going to be happy. That's what I'm seeing here with the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, but there's pregnancy. There's happiness, enthusiasm. There is joy, peace. I feel like, yeah, this person feels a lot of joy when they're around you. They feel free when they're around you. Okay, some of y'all could be pregnant right now because the Empress was at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like... Yeah, they want to make you happy. They want to invest in you. They want to make you happy. And they're waiting for things to grow for them. They're waiting for things to come to fruition between you and them. But I feel like right now, you're just taking some time out to listen to your intuition about if you want to reconcile with this person or not. I feel like you have been waiting for this person to come around and make you happy. Or you've been waiting for clarity or for something to be revealed here. Okay, so... I see some waiting going on here, but I also see that this person is waiting. You know, they're waiting for you to make a move, give them an answer, something. Okay, Capricorn, they're waiting because they're ready. They are ready, Capricorn, okay? Look, pop the question when I split the deck. Love messages when I split the deck, okay? They want to pop the question. They want to charm you, tell you all the right things that you want to hear to make you happy. They know what's going to make you happy, what they're going to tell you, okay? And it's sincere. But if you reject their offer, they're going to be sad and crying, okay? That's what they're going to be. What message is coming through for Capricorn? Someone rising, Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, self-love is showing up here first, so that is the overall energy. So I feel like the overall energy is self-love. Ooh, Depressed, okay, wish, married, uh, pop the question, again, so, I'm sorry that that dog is just barking like that, she get on my damn nerve, okay, so, basically, this person sees that you're putting into yourself more, self-love, self-care, you're focused on you, and they're so depressed, they're so depressed because they're wishing to marry you. They're hoping and wishing you guys can get married. They're hoping and wishing that you will accept this ring, this offer, this proposal. They want to marry you, okay? But they do want to come back together and reconcile with you first. They want to come back and reconcile, Capricorns, okay? They do. They want to be with you. They want to celebrate with you, okay? But they are not happy. Well, this is you. You're not happy about this person. Because I feel like somebody could be moving, buying a house, selling a house, moving to a different city, state, country, town. You could be changing careers or something within your career is changing. Or overall, you're just leaving this toxic relationship and going off to a fresh and new start here. And they're not happy about that. Because they feel as though you're leaving them behind. And it's, 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 it's showing up like this because this person backstabbed you in the past. Uh-huh. They cause pain, cheating, deception, mind games, and love bombing. This person, you know, they, they effed up. They effed up real bad. You know, and I feel as... Hold on, y'all. I feel like... Yeah, you have gotten some evidence on this. Whatever this person did to you... You got the evidence. You got all the evidence that you needed, okay? Because I feel like, again, they was keeping some secrets from you, Capricorns. Okay, and one of the secrets that I'm seeing, something that they have not been telling you is that they're gay or bisexual. So they like men or they like women. They are unsure of their sexuality. So they're not sure what they want. They're not sure who they want. This person is in the closet and on the DL. 
So they do have a connection to men or women. And that could be the reason why you rejected them. If you found this out. If you found this out, you rejected them like, uh-uh, I didn't know that you was bisexual. You should have told me. I, I, had, I, I had a notion that you was, but I wasn't sure. You know, I feel like you found something out. You found out some secrets. You got a report or something about these secrets this person was hiding from you. And that could be the reason why you're rejecting them because they didn't tell you about their sexuality. They was keeping it a secret. A lot of secrets here. A lot of secrets. What else? What's this person's true intentions towards my Capricorns? What's this person's true intentions towards my Capricorns? Oh, Capricorn, this is messy. Don't let that broke bitch in, cause she too messy. Let that broke bitch in. Get out my se get out my section. Okay, I don't know why take off this this channel in my head. Rest in peace to take off. Okay, a divine masculine. So that's you, or you're dealing with the masculine energy here. Okay, yeah, so this card just wants to pop out jealousy, gossip, a hater, fake, two faced it, and a liar. Wow, so that's how you see this divine masculine as a fake, hating, two faced it, liar, son of a ooh, you know, you're a divine feminine, or you're dealing with the divine feminine. All right, I feel like they do have feelings for you. Okay, there's still some feelings here between the two of y'all. But, I don't know if somebody's in protective custody, or if you have an order of protection, or a restraining order against this person, or if the police was involved, or this person may have gotten trouble with the law, they may have got locked up or pulled over uh, by the police. Yeah, you may have called the police on them or something like that, or police was involved uh, before, I don't know. But I feel like you're closing this cycle out. You feel like it's best to just be done and over with this person yeah you see this person is someone who is very shady okay they no good wow this person may have a best friend a wingman a partner in crime someone who covers for them if like they do dirt you may know this best friend you may work with them you may do business with them or they work together but i feel like and eh, this friend they, they hide all your person's secrets. You may know who this person is. You may not. But they definitely know who you are. What's the outcome? I know you're closing out a cycle. But what's the outcome for them? Options. And I love you. So they love you. But I feel like they feel as though you have your options open. Or if you don't have your options open, they may have their options open because you decided to end things with them. So now they're going off to explore, to expand, to see what else is out there for now. But they still want to be with you. They still want to come together with you. I feel like I pulled too many cards for y'all. But um, they, they do want to come back together with you. But it's just that they don't know what they want. You know, they don't know what sex that they like, male or female. So, let's get into some love oracle, okay? Yeah, let go of control issues, Capricorn. And a lot of situations that unfold naturally. Let spirit do what spirit gonna do. Love yourself first. Focus on focus on yourself. Love yourself, kid. Because that self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Somebody you're getting to know. Somebody wants to get to know you. This could be somebody new. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. They want to um, go on a retreat with you. They want to come visit you and disconnect from the world. They want to shoot their shot and be around you and go on a trail with you, take a trip with you. All right. But I feel like you pulled your energy away from someone. You could be uh, retreating from someone here. All right, what's coming through for Capricorn? Why does all these cards keep falling out? Okay, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Give your relationship a chance to work on your partnership. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. I feel like for some of y'all, okay, this is new love. 
So you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Um, I feel like spirit wants you to give this person a chance to work on the partnership that you have with them. Okay. Now this is a new love coming through. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And I feel like this person is your soulmate. Okay. Express your love to this person. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Because very soon, something is happening. Or this person is coming in very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you right now. But I feel like somebody may be having financial issues. So they're trying to get their life together. Their financial status together. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's trying to get their life right. Their shit right. Okay. Let's get some 411. What's the tea, spirit? Big ego. So somebody has an inflated sense of self. They self-centered, self-absorbed. They think the world revolve around their ass. Okay. Yeah, they burn money. They feel like people love being around them because they got a lot of money. They flash it. They burn it. They can't save money. They spend it faster than they can earn it. Somebody's a chaos agent. Somebody purposefully causes chaos and mischief for entertainment. They think that shit is funny. They think that shit is cute. But it's not. Okay. They, they look... They looking dirty, okay, doing that. Yeah, they fake flexing. See, they flash their money. They pretend to have money and material wealth. And they putting on a front. It's all for show. It's not even real. Okay? And I feel like they're trying to impress you or somebody around you is, is doing this. Because they feel like you are the queen bee. They feel like you're not on their level. They feel like they're not on your level. Okay, and I feel like because you guys are bossing up, getting to that bag, creating abundance and a legacy for your life, really going after the bag, really going after what you want, whether you're male or female, and this person is not. They rather flash it and try to make it seem like they got it so you could come back around to them. Okay, that's how for some of y'all, that's how this person is. But I feel like this is all fake. It's not real. The money not even real. Okay. This person is definitely someone who's controlling whoever this is around you. This could be happening to somebody around you. Someone thinks they can control you, the situation, or people in general. Someone is a tyrant. Someone is clingy too. Okay. They do not know how to let you go. This is somebody that can't let you go. They cannot. They refuse. This person is crazy. A psycho. I am sorry is cut. So I feel like somebody does not apologize or their apologies be fake as fuck. Okay. Or well, somebody wants to apologize. Okay. I am sorry. So they may mean what they say, this apology. But I feel like, I don't know. Because they cut it. They cut the I am sorry. Okay. So the sorry is cut from the I am. So the sorry is falling down. So basically I am and psycho at the top of that. Psycho I am. If you just take a look at it, you'll see what I'm talking about. The I am is being cut away from the sorry. So if you take that away, I am psycho. Crazy, okay? <laughs> I don't know. It looks very subliminal to me, you guys. That's how I look at a lot of things, okay? This person has no regard for what's right or wrong. This place violent or antisocial behavior. They have a mental instability, so they have mental issues or they're mentally unstable. This person, their apology is not even a real apology. Or they just saying that, but they don't mean the shit. Okay? One or the other. Somebody's just a home wrecking asshole, breaking up a happy family, having affairs. They don't have no respect for your boundaries at all. They don't care. About what your boundaries are. They like to play games with you. This is somebody who cannot stop playing games. They don't know how to grow up. They're very immature. They're still a grown boy or a grown girl. Somebody's a fake ass friend. This could be your friend who we speaking about. Okay. Somebody is not genuine. They two faced it. They talk about you behind your back. But they smile in your face here. And they use you for clout. So I feel like if you got something going on. They tell everybody they know you. You know, they use your name to blow them up, but they fake as fuck, okay? And they broke as hell. Somebody's broke. This could be you, okay? You may be having financial issues right now where you don't have any money. You're trying to pay your bills, but your bills, all your bills is not paid up. You could be scrapping up change to get by here, okay? You could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio here, okay? Let's see. 
But I feel like this person could be broke. Okay. Like they don't have anything to offer to you. All right. Yeah. Button heads fell. So you guys are always fighting, getting into arguments and conflict, bumping heads, can't agree. You know, this person is not on your level. You know, and I feel like they are, they sabotage the connection. This person knows that they've been sabotaging. So it could have been this person you're dealing with that was doing this in the past to you. And now they're realizing like, hey, I want to settle down with uh, Cap, Capricorns. But you may be like, that's Cap. But they want to settle down with you. They want to shoot their shot and come towards you. Even though they have been moving a little slow. They, I feel like they've been moving slow also. Because you guys been going through some healing. And recovering from the bullshit. So they're giving you both time to recover. And get over the pain that's happened between the two of you. Some of y'all, somebody you know could be recovering from a surgery or an accident that has happened in their life here. Okay, I don't know what kind of accident that may have been. I don't want to put that out there in the air. But I do know somebody's recovering from a surgical procedure or an accident. Okay. Let's get some more messages. We have main lady. Strategy. Ooh. So they are basically saying if you take them back, they won't be with anybody else. They won't let anyone else interfere in you guys' connection. They only want you and only you. They only want to be with you and only you. And I feel like they're making their way towards you. They're planning their next move. Okay. They're leaving nothing to chance. So I feel like they're not waiting for divine timing. Which can be a little, you know, it can mess things up. Okay. A little bit. I feel like they feel it's risky, but it's like the fool card. They're going to take this leap of faith towards you. Okay. Huh. I feel like you guys are taking a journey into the unknown, going towards new. Y'all want new love. Y'all want new love. Okay. There's someone better, a new love interest. You're letting go of this ex. And that's why they're taking this risk towards you. Because you're letting go of them. Broken promises. They may break promises to you. Okay. Or they have broke promises to you. That's why you're ready for something new. They misled you in this connection. The trust is broken. They led you on. They're unreliable. And you are healing. You're recovering from that. Okay. You're reevaluating yourself. Reevaluating your needs here. Okay, pour more into your self-love, your self-care. You're moving forward with your life here. Because this person, yeah, they're toxic. They're low vibe. Remember to keep your vibration high. It's very important for you to keep your vibration high. Because this person is no good for you. And their vibration is low. But they're wanting to fight for this connection. They put you through a lot of painful experiences in love. Okay. Let's see. I feel like this separation may have been mutual. Yeah, they, they have bad intentions. Spirit is wanting you to be vigilant and protect your energy. Because they're coming through with bad intentions. Red flags, lies, and secrets. Okay, I feel like they're going to give you a drunk text or a drunk phone call. This person is getting drunk. There's some bad habits here. They could be addicted to sex, drugs, alcohol, destructive behavior, or they're addicted to you. But they have destructive behavior where you guys been getting into a lot of fights, arguments, conflict. They create drama in you guys' relationship. And I feel like when you're around them, there's a lot of tension between the two of you. But something shocking is about to happen, Capricorns. Something unexpected, a surprise. Something you did not see coming. Something very unpredictable. Okay, this person does want to have sex with you, but what else? What is this shocking event? What is the shocking event coming towards Capricorn? What is the shocking event? Okay. Okay, that is too many. But something is brewing. So this person is losing emotional strength. About to have a, a mental breakdown. Could be uh, with uh, we saw the tower. 
right? We did see the tower. Was the tower here? I'm feeling that tower energy. Okay. So the tower is not here. But I'm feeling that energy to where, like I said, the shocking event. So that shocking event is the tower energy. So I feel like it's going to throw you off a little. It's going to throw you off. This person is going to bring you a love offer. A sincere offer of love. They want to make a romantic gesture to you. Or give you a gift. This person loves you. And they want a second chance. They want a brand new start, a brand new cycle with you. They want to start something new with you here. And they want another chance. But it's up to you to give this person the chance that they want. I feel like they're going to express their love to you, pour their heart out to you with this love offer. And they're going to express their love to you in a way where you never expected it. This is somebody you definitely ended a cycle with. And I feel like you got a difficult decision to make here, okay? They're pretty convincing right now. They're pretty convincing right now. So you have a difficult decision to make, okay? I feel like this person wants you to have a fear of choosing wrong here. But you have a lot of options. So I feel like which door are you going to open? There's a lot of doors here to be open. There's a lot of doors here that's closed. Which doors are you going to leave closed? And which doors are you going to leave open? Which door are you going to walk through? You got some options. So you got a painful, difficult decision here to make. It may not be painful, but it's difficult. Very, very difficult. Because you may have children with this person. And they may use the children as a pawn. So the children may be like, oh, mommy, I want daddy come back. I want daddy come back. Or mommy, daddy, I want mommy come back. You know, if somebody is using the children as a pawn to get back with you. Like, what about the kids? What about the, you know, somebody could have been staying for the kids in the past. But I feel like this is going to shock you. This is going to throw you off your game. How are they going to pour their love out to you and pour their heart out to you? Because they want to make this fresh new start with you. But you may have your options open. Okay. And you're going to have to make a decision. What you want to do. With this person. <laughs> or this situation. Because you got new love up there too. So it's like. Oh what you going to do. What you going to do. When they come for you bad boys. Bad boys. What you going to do. What you going to do. When they come for you. Nobody not. No. Mm. And nobody really knows the words, okay? <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, you got a choice. You got a choice, okay? I saw fire energy here too. So, you could be connected to a Leo Aries Sash, or you have water um, placements highly aspected in your chart, or fire placements highly aspected in your chart here. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna? Maybe you've watched that last night, or you watched that today, didn't you? You watched either part one, part two, or the, or, or or the reboot, or whatever. You didn't watch it. You watched it recently, didn't you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? And somebody watches cops. Do you watch cops still? Who watches cops still? Let me know in the comments if you still watch cops. Okay, cops still be on. Cops be popping. I don't watch cops like that, but whenever it comes up, I do click on it and watch cops. All right, so let me know if I'm the only one that's watching cops. <laughs> and like I said, I don't watch it every day, but once in a while. All right, when it shows up, I may click on it, watch a few minutes of it, and then turn it off, honey bunny, because I do not really like cops like that. You know, cops, I don't know. But it's funny. The show is funny. So, you got a difficult decision to make, Capricorn. And it is up to you what you're about to do. Use your discernment and listen to your intuition about this situation. So, I love you guys so much. Like this video up if it resonates with you. If any of the messages 
resonate with you. If you like this reading, if you want to see me do more readings like this for y'all, make sure y'all do me a favor, like this video up for me right now. Turn your post notifications on to ALL so you won't miss any readings I upload for you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye Capricorns. I'll see y'all in the next reading. Namaste.